Hello everyone and welcome to this video called the Stafford XC. Joe, Felix and I launched from Dickey Ridge and soon head east over the flatlands. My MIP fly flight instrument has an amazing good LCD screen, super readable, also in the sun. At Amosville I'm between Culpeper and Warrington next to I-2011. The winds pushed me to the northeast towards Warrington and the blue line indicates the airspace. The area 1 is class B starting at 4500. The area 2 is a parachute drop zone and you can cross this one. The area 3 is within the red zone and you cannot enter this TFR forbidden. So you need to take a line to the right which is east. I'm flying the Bogdan Kokon version 1 harness and I like it a lot. This is Warrington viewed from the south with the Walmart very visible and this picture shows my flight path in white. To fly to Stafford you want to stay well south of Warrington as the airspace extends more to the south proceeding to the east. There are more markers and one is the Fakir County Airport. Ideally you want to fly the direction of the runway to the east. That's the thin line going across that's visible in my MIP fly. By the way, this device is doing a very good job showing the airspace in three dimensions. If you follow that line shown by my white flight pad, you enter the purple area and that's the MOA or military operation area. You can enter on your own risk. The area 2 is a no time that's always active and we cannot enter. The area 3 is also restricted and the TFR. You can imagine without a good preparation and in-flight tool showing the airspace, you should not fly this line. Felix and I landed after three hours flight, almost 80K short of I-95 in Stafford. Big thanks to Joe for picking us up in Warrington after we took an Uber in Stafford. Thanks for watching this Stompsy paragliding video.